Sam Jackson, the Director of Innovation and Technology for Keller Williams in North Atlanta. Uh, today I am sharing a quick how-to video on creating uh, postcards within KW Command. And I'll be honest with you, this is one of probably my favorite features uh, through Lead Accelerator, through our marketing and advertising. Um, it's probably one of the coolest tools that can make postcards smart again and uh, also really make it worthwhile to spend money in post because we're not wasting uh, any postage on uh, people who've recently moved. Uh, but uh, anyways, before I spoil it, let's just kind of get into it before I show you everything. Um, so to log in to KW Command, we're going to go to agent.kw.com and log in with your Kyla Williams credentials. Click sign in and we'll be good to go. Now to access the real mailers postcards, um, we are going to work inside the lead accelerator functionality through KW Command. Um, so you can click on the lead accelerator card up here in the top right hand corner or click on the bullhorn uh, on the left hand column. And once we click into uh, creator campaigns, one of the first things you wanna do um, before you get started is actually um, upload and uh, uh, attach your credit card. Um, that way there we can go through, create the postcard and not have any hiccups or hangups with uh, associating a, a credit card later. So to do that, uh, you click on the payment profile column up here and then just add a new card. Um, if you've been in Lead Accelerator before for Facebook ads, uh, you may already have a credit card on file, but for the first time, you would come in, enter your credit card information and click add card. Cool. All right. Now getting started with uh, creating your uh, real mailers campaign, we're gonna go back to the campaign function over here and click create new. And uh, we spent some time in the past working on social ads, social posts, uh, but today we're gonna click on direct mail. All right, we're going to name this postcard. So let's just say that I have a new listing and we're going to test it. All right, and my goal here is to advertise the listing. Click configure campaign now that we have it named. Now, like everything else in Lead Accelerator, the KWLS is already plugged into this awesome tool. So all we have to do as associates at Keller Williams is search our listing, if that's what we're creating today. And I'll click on search listing. Oh, I guess we're gonna load here for a second. All right, hopefully uh, this works through here pretty quickly, but I will absolutely love this tool. I'll just try refreshing really quick to see if that helps the process. All right, direct mail. Test new listing. Again, my goal is to advertise the listing today. Can't figure, okay, all right, cool. All right, so now once we're in here, um, you can see some of the templates, a little sneak peek, but what we're going to, going to do is just search for our listing. And, oh man, we're being really slow today. It's all good. All right, network is found. All right, I'm gonna to go to all listings and we're going to pick, um, you know, I like this house down here. Let's pick 1352 uh, Oleander Avenue, select. Looks like this is in California. It looks like a pretty cool exterior. All right, um, so in, in this situation, you would just go to KWLS and search for your particular address or listing. Um, and when we do that, you'll see that it actually pulls the information directly from the KWLS. So I'm not uploading photos or anything else, uh, or you know, the description, it pulls directly from the feed, which is a great, great feature. Now, we have a couple of different templates that are kind of created and pre-populated in here. Um, and I believe that many more are being added basically every single day through uh, Keller Williams Associates, through Sketch House and Designs in KW Command. So we're gonna see a lot of cool templates, but these are what we have right now, uh, kind of templated through real mailers. Um, so what you see is the, the title of the postcard, the size, so this particular one is six by nine, and then also the cost. So 79 cents for standard, 99 cents for first class. Uh, this one is pre-selected, but if you just scroll to the right, you'll see that we have uh, your modern six by 11, your contemporary six by 11, and then there's also a dot here to go to the next page. This is where you'll see the cheapest right now, which is a 59 cent first class, uh, and this is a smaller four by six compact. Um, uh, template that we have, but I love the looks of all of these right now um, within uh, KW Command and uh, Lead Accelerator. But let's just say I want to go ahead and I'm being a cheapskate today, so we're going to go with just the 59 cent compact four by six. Click select, um, and what's tell and what um, KW Command is telling me that the resolution of my picture is too small. 
So in this instance, um, what you want to do is actually select a picture to upload. It's best practices that anytime that you are working with print media, so if you were working with a postcard, uh, door hangers, a magazine, or a, a newspaper, you want the highest resolution possible for your image. So your JPEG, your PNG, you want that to be as big as possible. And you can see right here, um, we're sharing that we would like at least 300 DPI and then a 1200 by 1800 uh, picture in, um, in pixels. Um, so this will work uh, moving forward. I can kind of continue to build this ad without selecting a photo, but I would highly recommend going out and grabbing the largest picture that you have possible um, for your real mailers campaign. All right. So next, what you would need to do is just confirm your address, confirm your listing price, make sure all the details are accurate. Um, and then for your description, you may want to kind of shorten this uh, make it more appropriate for a postcard and not just the um, uh, the catch-all dump of information into your MLS. I'd uh, maybe just kind of clean this up, give myself some significant white space here, and uh, let's just pretend that that's a great description. That's what I want right there. All right. And then you'll see with certain postcards, we actually have the opportunity to create a label. Um, so for this one, it says just listed. Uh, this one, it says coming soon. You'll kind of see that this text will show up in a, different few, in a few different places. Um, so for me, I'm going to keep it empty, but we can put just listed on here, and that'll show up as a banner on your ad. Confirm the agent details. So in this situation, uh, it would populate my own info, but since I borrowed Jones listing, um, I'd have to go in and change this. Please do not advertise a listing without permission. Make sure that you are abiding by all of your uh, realtor board and MLS um, rules and regulations. Real quickly, just dump my information in. And here's where I'd upload my agent profile. All right. Get my headshot. And that would show up there. If you have a logo, you can upload it for your team. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put my fake uh, Sam Jackson logo in here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, cool. All right. And then just confirm your market center information as well. Um, so here we're going to put the address. Um, I'm at Kevin Williams, North Atlanta. So we're going to adjust that. City Alpharetta. And you will have to attach your address to the actual mapping location here. So as I type, it should populate. We'll give that a second because I want to select right here. Perfect. Uh, you won't be able to move forward until you select from that address right there. Um, and then once I have an idea of submitting all the information, all the photos I need for the actual uh, ad design, I'm going to click Create and Customize, confirm that I'm ready to create the campaign. And this is where we get to play around with who we're sending this particular listing to, and I love it. This is my favorite thing that we have rocking and rolling within Lead Accelerator. Give that a second. Anytime that you see uh, a little bit of a slow lag or uh, just some uh, some time lag within KW Command, there's a good chance that the great folks at KWI are working on uh, the tools that we have here, so that might be the case. All right. So um, the advertisement, because I attach it to my market center, it's pulling my location here in Georgia. Um, let's just pretend that that house that I had put in for the listing um, and for the postcard is here in Georgia. Um, but you would just want to make sure that you're accurately sending it to the right place. Make sure it makes sense. Um, so what you can immediately do is set the number of homes that you would like to target. Um, so let's just say that at 59 cents a pop, I'm looking to maybe spend... Um, you know, about 200 to $300 in this postcard. Um, so I'm going to roughly put this around 500 homes. Okay. Uh, as we move along, we can do some advanced filtering, which I love. So if I only want to send this to single family homes instead of apartments or condos, I can do that. Uh, let's say that uh, it only makes sense for the listing that I have here that we send this out to folks who live in a uh, two to six bedroom home. I can keep narrowing it down. And as I do that, you can see that these dots represent the potential people who are going to get my postcard. And same thing, you can play around with square footage, um, all kinds of things that we can mess around with here. Um, to be quite honest with you though, I'm probably only going to play with the last year sold, um, or the last, yeah, the last sold for, 
want to make sure that it makes sense from a, um, a value standpoint. And then also, the last year sold. Um, so basically, we know through the uh, National Association of Realtors, there's statistics that um, people move every seven years. So I could quickly change, hey, I'm not going to send this postcard out to people unless it's, uh, you know, they've been in their home since 2012. Um, or if I'm looking to just kind of blanket this out a little bit further, um, I may change this to, okay, it's right now it's the year 2019. I don't want to send this to people who just moved in the last year or two, maybe knock this down to 2016. Um, so instead of sending it to people who may have just moved to this property address on this map, um, I'm being a little bit more highly targeted, not wasting any money on people who are currently, uh, you know, off the market, if you will. All right. Now, the cool thing is um, you'll see that uh, I started in this little epicenter and these dots have moved out. So these are the people who will receive my postcard instead of around this location based on me narrowing down who I'm targeting to. Now, the cool thing is that instead of the epicenter, I can actually, if I scroll up a little bit, um, draw a polygon around my listing. So let, let's just say that I only want to send um, this postcard to not just the neighborhood, but just the street uh, of people who live on this area. So I can just draw a quick shape around that community and only send it to these three people. Um, so that's the other opportunity that if maybe you are a little bit more rural or if you only want to send it to the same cul-de-sac and have a very specific ad that says, um, you know, would love to help find you your neighbor or I would love to list your home too. Um, or the case may be, you can be really, really creative with this thing. Um, instead of spending, I think we're at what, $450 for some postcards, I can quickly send this out to three people for a buck 77. There's a million different things and different ways that you can purpose these postcards um, by sorting and filtering uh, these particular places. This is an amazing thing, an amazing tool for farming. One of the things that I would do is just draw this polygon tool right around the neighborhood you live and start branding yourself as the neighborhood real estate agent because no one's going to care more than you to protect home values and to get the most for a listing in the community that you live in. Um, but once you click Next, um, you get to make your payment. Um, you'll see there's some information here from uh, Real Mailers. We say that it will go out within the next four to six business days. Um, so if you're very uh, uh, aggressive with your open houses and send postcards out, you know, think ahead with that one. Um, but uh, the cool thing about Real Mailers is they actually work to a company similar to like 1-800-Flowers. Uh, they're a national company, but they work with local printers. So your postage will come through uh, with like local postal information. It's not going to come from, uh, you know, Sheboygan unless you live in Sheboygan. Uh, it's going to come from a local printer and post uh, post office. So um, really awesome stuff that we have rocking and rolling within Room Mailers. I would suggest go spend a couple bucks, uh, send that out, and uh, see what your results are. Um, again, my name is Sam Jackson. Connect with me on KB Connect. Just search Sam Jackson and uh, give me a follow. Thank you for watching today and enjoy uh, Lead Accelerator and Remailers. Thank you.